20 years ago, I started to realize that actually we could describe all of the damage that accumulates in the human body in just in this very simple manageable classification on the left hand side of this table these seven types of damage that is all that happens in the body those are the only things we need to repair and on the right hand side i am listing the ways in which we can do it you are probably very familiar with the first one the type of damage in question is cell loss where cells die and they are not automatically replaced by other cells by the division of other cells and the the maintenance approach the damage repair approach is simply stem cell therapy putting cells into the body that we have created in the laboratory and made into the right type of cell so that they will know what to do when we inject them so that they will replace the cells that the body is not replacing on its own. Now, all of the other types of damage are less understood, less well known, well known. And for that reason, the research to repair them is less far advanced. But our work at Sense Research Foundation has made enormous progress in developing these other repair approaches as well. Here are just a small number of the papers that we have published in top journals over the years. I am particularly proud of these ones because they were real breakthrough papers that created a whole new research area and got lots of new researchers interested in what we wanted to do. So this is very important. And perhaps what's even more important is that this general approach to combating aging and keeping people healthy late in life has now been acknowledged and accepted very strongly by the mainstream biology of aging community, by academics, professors around the world. The paper I'm showing you here, which came out eight years ago, has been cited more often than any other paper in the whole of the biology of aging for the past decade. And it's more or less exactly the same as the paper that I published 10 years earlier. So this is something that everybody accepts now. I want to emphasize that I have talked about health for a reason. Longer. But what you have to remember is that living a lot longer is a side effect of staying healthy a lot longer. We should not be thinking of health and longevity as alternatives. We should be thinking of them as things that go together. So we should not be worried about things like uh, overpopulation, having too many people if nobody is dying of aging anymore, or having trouble paying the pension because at the end of the day it's more important it's the most important thing is to eliminate the suffering that happens as a result of losing your health now i'm going to finish by just briefly talking about the private sector companies and investors because until recently this crusade this work was being done by charities like Sense Research Foundation. But now a lot of the science has moved far enough along that actual investors are getting involved. People are beginning to see how they can make money out of this technology in the foreseeable future. So the companies that I am listing here are spin outs from Sense. We created these companies to carry on the work that we had done in the nonprofit sector for a long time beforehand. And now there are far more companies than that. Way over a hundred companies in this space. I've just got a small selection of them here. 
if you go to the website that I am showing at the bottom right of this slide, agingbiotech.info, you will find a lot of information about many, many more companies. And this is coming soon. I think it may be 15 or 17 years before we really get all of this technology working well. And of course, it's pioneering that it's going to be that soon. But we will get this, we will get close enough to this very soon. I think that within the next three or four or five years, everybody will understand that this is coming and we really need to pay attention to that. So I will stop there. I will just mention that I wrote this book about the science of rejuvenation 13 years ago now. Uh, it was translated into Chinese. I'm afraid I don't have a link to the Chinese version, but it exists. And I will try to send uh, some information about that to the organizers afterwards. But in the meantime, this is my book. This is our website. This is our email address. And I would be delighted if you ask me some questions. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's a really good question. It is true that when we are older, the repair functions that we have at an earlier age do not work so well. But the main reason why that happens is because there are some repair functions that we don't even have when we're young. So there are some types of damage that accumulate throughout life, even starting before we are born. And it's those types of damage that really matter. When those types of damage become more abundant, that's when we become unable to repair the other types of damage that we used to be able to repair when we were younger. So we hope we will have more chance to uh, hear the insights from you, Dr. Debray. Thank you very much.